Hey guys, it's LPS Honey. Yes, I'm currently in a bathroom. Uh, anyway, today I have a kind of spooky themed video for you guys because even though it is July, on the LBS Honey channel, it is never too early for spooky Halloween festivities. So if you live in Australia and you're into gothic attire, you may have heard of a store called Berserk. They recently had a big end of financial year sale and I was able to get an amazing deal on some spooky decor. So they had a lot of really cool deals and one that I honestly couldn't pass up on was this Sourpuss Haunted Housewares coffin shelf. They had a few different colors. They had a fully black one, a pink one, and then this one here which had bat designs on the back. The black and pink one weren't on sale. However, this bat design one was, so I managed to pick up one of them. I would have really loved to have gotten two, but I actually bought the last one they had in stock. So currently, this specific design is not in stock, but they do still have the black and pink ones. Now I will admit, full price, these are quite expensive. I managed to get this one here for $25 which I thought was a really good steal because it was already on sale and then I used a discount code on top of that so I was very very lucky to get this for the price that I did however if you are interested in checking these out I'll leave a link to the other designs in the description um, but please be aware that they are quite expensive um, and unfortunately this specific design is out of stock me personally I'm not a big fan of the bat design so I am actually going to be painting this and customizing it a bit and then filling it with some really cool creepy LPS scenes. So that's kind of what this video is about. Gonna set up a little spooky display for you guys and show you how you can set up your own if you're also interested in doing something like this. Like I said, it's never too early on the LPS Honey channel to get spooky. So let's open this up, take a look, and then start customizing it for my LPS. So here is our shelf. It's actually quite hard to fit this all in frame because it is quite large, but I will get some better shots later on when it's all finished, customized, and filled with LPS. On the back, it comes with a hook if you want to hang this up on your wall, which is awesome. And it is all pre-assembled in the box, which is great. Though I will say I am not the biggest fan of the quality of paint on this. If you can see it right there, one of the bats isn't properly painted on. I think this is just a printing error, but yeah, if you're somebody who really wanted the bat prints, this could be quite disappointing. However, because I'm painting over it, it doesn't bother me too much. Let's get started customizing this. I'm gonna start off with a black acrylic paint and then seal it with a matte varnish spray.
It just started raining, so hopefully it's not too loud on camera because we are in winter at the moment in Australia. But of course, with the full assembly of our coffin display, I had to chuck on the iconic skull LPS bow. Please Hasbro, please make more spooky accessories, I'm begging you. So let's talk about the shelf. I'm really impressed with the quality and I'm so glad that the paint and varnish spray went on so well. Like you honestly can't even tell that it's painted and I love that. That's exactly what I was going for. And I'm pleasantly surprised with the amount of stuff you can actually fit on each shelf. Of course, if you don't want to have these intricate little scenery dioramas, you can always just use them for LPS display, which is what I'm sure a lot of people will end up doing and I'll probably use like the bottom shelf for displaying some LPS but I think it's really cool that you can create a full little scene in there with furniture and accessories and hang stuff up on the wall using blue tack it's really awesome the kind of options that you get with this shelf so you guys have already seen these but I'll give you a little rundown we kind of got a little murder mystery on our first level here we have our deer with a little knife there's some spooky stuff going on on the vanity I'm not sure if you guys can tell what's out of place over here then on the second level oh my god the sun's come out I think that's a bit better but on our second level we have a little lounge room set I decided not to put anything on the walls just because I wanted to show you guys that it looks fine with just furniture honestly so we have our little guy here a little seat back there our phone off the hook oh my gosh what's happening who knows and then down the bottom we just got a little goth girly um, again kind of wanted to keep it minimalistic to show you that you can really just create a little scenario with anything think Draculaura and speaking of Draculaura that's literally her monster high phone that this pet is using that's kind of like a little uh, special hint towards a future video but I won't give you guys too much information right now. And of course, like I mentioned, it does have a hook on the back so you can hang it out. So let's see if that actually works out because I have a hook on my wall currently. So currently I have my Lilith Pet Shop display that I made in a previous video hanging up on the wall. So I'm just going to take this off. So here it is on my wall. Hopefully it is all in frame. You can see it hanging there. It looks so cool. I'm kind of upset that I don't have a second one because these would look awesome just hung up around the place. Um, and of course, you don't have to hang this on your wall. It's an amazing option to have. However, if you don't want to hang things up on your wall or you don't have the space, you can just stand it up on a desk or something like that. As has been shown throughout this whole video, it stands up fine by itself. But seeing the LPS sceneries up on my wall like this, like true little pieces of art, is so cool. And like I said, if you don't want to display sceneries, you can always put your collection in these. And it just gives it that really cool, spooky feel. And I love it so much. So there you have it, guys. With a shelf, some paint, some cardboard, and a few LPS, you too can make your own horror-themed display for your LPS. I think this turned out so cool. I am so happy with the results. I am so glad that the paint worked. That was like the most daunting part because when you paint things, you never quite know how it's going to react. But acrylic paint and matte varnish is usually a safe bet. And in this case, it turned out amazing. I also want to quickly mention, I had some blue tack on the back here, which I have now taken off and it hasn't left any marks. So I just want to show you guys that the matte varnish is honestly such a great by and I really recommend it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like I said, I will leave a link to the other versions of this shelf which are already black or pink. They are a bit pricey so definitely keep your eyes on them if they do go up for sale because they're definitely worth it if you can get them on sale a hundred percent. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this and it's a awesome new addition to my LPS displays. So let me know if you guys want to see um, all my LPS displays kind of updated because, of course, this shelf is now added to the list. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed for like the billionth time. <laughs> and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye guys!